Hello folks and welcome to a very brief little tutorial here where I am going to go through some tricks that I've been taught by uh, a very very good scale modeler named of Jack Rigger who happens to live near me and whose knowledge I have been sucking up like a sponge lately. Uh, this is a little trick that he taught me when I was facing some issues with decals or decals or uh, water slide transfers, whatever you want to call them, uh, where I was getting silvering under the surface. Now, what we can see on this little chibi Sherman tank here is, if I catch the light right, you can see very, very clearly the silvering around these numbers. And it's actually even worse on this uh, little graffiti of get some. Uh, you can you can see it very clearly. Now I have actually already fixed this on uh, this decal here. Uh, you can see it's barely visible, very slightly to this side uh, when compared to the one on the opposite side where it's a little bit more visible. You can see it between the points of the star. So uh, what I'm going to do first of all is tell you how to avoid this. And, and the best way to avoid this is to lay down a gloss varnish uh, on your surface before applying the decals. Now the reason for that is that when you are applying decals, let's just make sure I've got this uh, squared up on the page, I need to focus. When you're applying decals, <clears throat> you have the surface of the model, and as you zoom in, the surface of the model is, is a little bit uneven, right? And this is going to depend on the kind of finish that your surface has. So the more matte a surface is, the more bumpy and uh, uneven that surface is going to be, right? But if you apply a gloss layer, it's going to be a much, much smoother finish. Why does this matter? Well, because what you're doing with a, a, a decal is that you're laying down an extra layer on the surface, right? Think of just like lying a sheet of paper over something. If you're lying a sheet of paper over a keyboard, it's not gonna to conform to it very well. Even if you kind of wet it and soak it, it'll still end up stretching across the gaps between some keys, for instance. Um, but if you were to apply it to a nice flat table, it would pretty much lie straight flat on the surface of the table. And that's what we're looking for. So in order to do that, what we do is we apply a layer of gloss varnish before we apply the decals. Um, and this means that the decal has a nice flat surface to, uh, to adhere to. There's no you know, tiny little bumps and, and unevenness in the surface. Now, if you don't want a gloss finish to your model, do not worry. Once you've applied the decal and it's all dried out and it's all set, you can then go back in and apply a matte varnish over the top and it will retain the benefits of having that adhesion to the gloss surface, but still look like it's a matte finish on the, on the actual model. Now, my preferred way of applying a gloss varnish is through an airbrush. I actually don't use a, a true gloss varnish for this. Generally, I use um, fle uh, Pledge Floor Polish, which is, really just an acrylic gloss that, that gets applied, but it, it sprays very nicely through an airbrush, which is why I use it. Also, it's pretty cheap compared to most of the hobbying products. So this is what you should do to avoid having this, what I call silvering, because it, it kind of shows up as a bit of a, like a, a kind of silvery color in really bad instances. Um, but as you can tell from, from this model, I, uh, I did not do that. So, um, Let's just get that focus sharpened up a bit. And um, and the result is that we've got this silvering. So how can we go back and fix that? Well, there are a lot of products on the market, right? You've got Decal Fix, you've got a Decal Adapter Solution from AK, you've got Mark Fit from Tamiya. Microset, Microset comes in two parts with Microsol. Uh, same as the ammo mig, you can see the two there. I, I don't have number one and for microset I never use microset, so I um, I don't actually have any of it um, 
uh, I, yeah, I ran out of Microsol a while back and I just never replaced it. And then Walther's Solver Set, which is uh, another great product. So there's a whole whole range of products here that you can use. Um, normally my go-to is the decal adapter solution when I'm just applying decals, mostly because it's a giant jar and I've had it for ages and it just works. Um, but actually, Mark Fit is a little bit more aggressive and uh, Solver Set is more aggressive still. And by aggressive, what I mean is it these products, these second stage uh, solvents, right, the, that uh, you're using are actually starting to dissolve the material of the decal. So the decal is, it, the ink is hopefully staying in the same place, but the, uh, the kind of paper that it's, it's uh, printed onto is being dissolved away by these solvents, right? These part ones, these sets, are just for helping you move the decal and, and get it to conform to the surface of, of the decal. And really, for that, I would just say use water. I, I really don't see the need for these, these products in the main. Uh, what you're really interested in are the part twos, the solvent parts, right? So micro sol, uh, solver set, uh, or these decal solutions. Um, so, uh, what we're going to use here is Mark Fit, which is a nice compromise between Solver Set, which is uh, very aggressive. I'm drifting, I'm apologize. Uh, Solver Set is very aggressive uh, and can be useful. Um, but I quite like Mark Fit, it's, it's a good compromise. It has a nice brush built in, which is handy. I'm not wrecking one of my, my existing brushes. Um, to to do what I am doing. So uh, what we have, we're going to start with this 35-S and the trick that uh, gets you this uh, this repair is using a scalpel or a sharp pin. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of tap into the surface of the decal all over in like very, very, very small increments, right? All over the whole surface of the decal, just tiny little pinpricks, especially on the silvered areas, but all over. Okay, so um, be careful when you're stabbing in and out, you kind of want to Minimize how much you're you're scraping or scratching at the surface just straight in and out and Once you've got nice lot of holes these holes are going to allow you to get your um, Allow the solution to penetrate in and really start dissolving that uh, Decal from the underside, so we're just going to apply a little bit of the decal solution. Now this can slightly lift paint if you uh, work it too much, so try not to to be too aggressive with it, just give a good quantity over the whole surface and just let that dry. Quick application of the hairdryer and uh, uh, you can see how much better it is, right? The the silvering above and below the minus sign is, is virtually eliminated completely. All around the S is much better. There is a small amount of silvering still on the three where I probably didn't uh, put in enough uh, holes to, to allow that mark fit to, to really get set in there. But overall, you know, it's, it's night and day. Uh, what I'm going to do, and you should be seeing now, is the get some off the front of this model with half having the fix applied and the other half not so hopefully you can see really clearly uh, what a difference this makes so um, thank you all so much for tuning in and um, taking a look at, at this little tutorial uh, I think I might do more of these quick little snappy tutorials for little things. If that's something you'd like to see more of, please let me know in the comments and go ahead and like this video. That really does give me the feedback to, to tell me that this is the kind of thing that you guys would like. As always, you know, please do consider subscribing. 
subscribing and watching videos is how I'm able to make this YouTube video channel bigger uh, and I would very much like to do that so please do consider doing those things um, thank you for watching this video I hope it's of help for you I would love to see the results that others get and for now later days Thank you.